I would like to pose a question. If someone treats you this way, even a little bit of what happened to us, would you try to take revenge or not? When Hamas first took to the streets to protest the Israeli occupation, they sent out young men armed with rocks against Israeli troops and tanks. That was in 1987, 1988. By 1990, they were using small arms and explosives, mostly directed against Israeli soldiers. In February 1994, an Israeli settler entered the tomb of Abraham here in Hebron and killed 29 Muslims at prayer. That act and Hamas's reaction to it would forever change the dynamics of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. We couldn't actually in that time imagine that there is somebody will come into the mosque and kill the people inside the mosque while they were praying. The people in that time, they took the decision that they have to retaliate. And they started the suicide bombing or the martyrdom operation. When we send a person to perform an act of martyrdom, we achieve advantages and pressure because we equate power with causing fear in others. All the suicide bombing operations were reactions to the Israeli occupation crimes against them and not because of a belief in or a methodology of targeting civilians. We are not interested to harm or to target the civilians. Because we have no Apache, we have no uh, uh, F-16, that we can kill people everywhere. When they feel that the fire reaches their home in Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, they start to change their thinking. Israelis direct violence against civilians here also. That's why we must confront them by targeting civilians. The Jews are afraid of suicide attacks? Then why aren't they afraid of their policies in the area? There's long been debate inside Hamas about whether terror tactics, attacks on civilians, were permitted by Islam. And the universal resolutions state that if you are attacked, you may respond accordingly. This is not violence. Every, every, every Israeli, every citizen, even if he is a child, will enter military service. This person will fight against the Palestinians. I do not accept that civilians be exposed to harm. These are our morals. This is our religion and this is our Sharia. Whether religiously right or wrong, suicide attacks became the image by which Hamas was known. The image about the suicide bombing is became hurting us and the Palestinian cause. We shouldn't continue this kind of things. Yeah. And after a while, the people decided not to go uh, with these uh, suicide bombing. Yeah. Since 2005, Hamas has not carried out any suicide Because we succeeded to push the Israel outside Gaza. Because we succeeded to finish the occupation. This is a good indicative that our aim is to eliminate the occupation. No suicide attack since 2005. Instead of such terror tactics, they tried democracy in 2006, ran in the election, and won to everyone's surprise. But not for long. After the Hamas winning the election, I was in Europe, I met a lot of people there, and I, I told him that you have, get, you have to give Hamas a space, time, just after that they can't judge people. But after two weeks or three weeks, we say no, the title is that we have to 
isolate these people, we have to impose a blockade and sanction. They are the ones who requested of us that we deal in democracy. So when it brought in Hamas, they rejected this democracy. So uh, what do you expect from Hamas at that time? That in the same time you call Hamas to be part of the democratic game, and the other side you don't respect the, the result of the election? This is very strange.